everyone else is in shock of the flying. For us, it's kind of like walking the dog. I was out on the boat with friends. We discovered her in the lake, like struggling by herself. We ended up finding her family, but they rejected her. She had a hurt foot, and I think that was maybe why she was abandoned, because geese will abandon the ones they don't think will make it. Kyle ended up following the boat, and she just jumped on the back of the swim deck, and my friend was like, okay, we'll care for her. In the beginning, when I first saw Kyle, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I just basically made sure nothing happened to her. I never kept Kyle in any kind of captivity. She was free to fly around and be on the lake. He just chose to stay. I happened to go out with a friend and I wasn't planning on flying her. I was just showing my friend, oh, watch how funny it is when Kyle runs on the water. And it just happened. It was crazy. And then from there, I started making it a routine. And then that's how we tightened up our flight game. She will use the draft off the boat so she doesn't have to work. You can kind of just coast and soar. Kai, did you eat my waffle? Oh. There's crumbs on your mouth. I know you ate it. When she's being bad, she knows she's being bad and will do it anyway. So like, kind of like a bad child. She got my as long as they check on her every few days, she's fine now. She does her own thing. She has a boyfriend named Eugene. Just how Jack came to be. Both of them ended up hatching. That was my original intent. Kyle would fly off and leave Jack in the water, which is a huge no-no. They stand no chance by themselves. So I saw it happen twice, and then I made the call. The first night me and Jack had together was just me up all night because he was crying, he wasn't sleeping, he was obviously stressed. It was a long night of TV. When they're left alone, they get really bad anxiety, and they think anything can happen to them. What? I left for one second. Since I've had Jack, it's been 24-hour daycare. I wouldn't recommend it for anyone to try to raise a goose, you know? It's a lot of work. Jack, show me what birds do. Oh. Jack doesn't mind what we're doing as long as he's included. As long as he can come, you can do whatever you want. We're still waiting for feathers so he can fly. Until he can fly, he's kind of defenseless. The second he takes flight, my job is done. If anyone can learn anything from Kyle and Jack, is to just be nice to animals. And uh, they all have souls too, you know, and they all have feelings. Why do you have a goose on the boat? Um, that's my roommate that doesn't pay rent. 